President Abdel Fattah Sisi met with the visiting Greek Minister of Defense uh, Nikos uh, Panayango Topoulos. Attending the meeting was the Minister of Defense and Military Production General Mohamed Zeki. During the meeting, President Sisi expressed keenness on boosting military cooperation between the two countries. The President hailed the current level of cooperation, whether on bilateral ties or on as a part of a three-way cooperation with Cyprus. He referred to the ongoing military exercise Medusa 10 and the Mediterranean Sea off the coast of Egypt with the participation of France and the United Arab Emirates. The President said that the three-way cooperation between Egypt, Greece and Cyprus is a successful example based on rational stances and respect of neighboring countries and serving the mutual interests under the relevant international laws and norms with the aim of achieving security and stability in the East Mediterranean region. For his part, the Greek Minister of Defense said that his visit to Egypt reflects the growing level of strategic cooperation between the two countries. He reiterated his country's keenness to boost cooperation on the military and security levels, as well as informing, uh, information sharing. Meanwhile, the two sides exchanged views on regional issues and means of combating terrorism. President Fatah al-Sisi uh, participated on Wednesday on, in, in the second international conference to support Lebanon via video conference. During his speech in the conference, President al-Sisi stressed the importance of international community support to the Lebanese people in these difficult circumstances. The President also called on the Lebanese leaders to settle disputes and form a new national unity government that is able to deal with current challenges. President Sisi added that Egypt provided all forms of support to Lebanon immediately after the Beirut blast through air bridge of aid supplies. The President also said that the conference represents a message of support to Lebanon from all friendly countries. France's President Emmanuel Macron Wednesday urged Lebanese politicians to form a government as he chaired a second aid conference to help the crisis hit country after a deadly port blast. Lebanon's cabinet stepped down after the August 4th port blast that killed more than 200 people and ravaged large parts of Beirut, but efforts to form a new one have since hit a wall. Formation of a reform-minded government was the first step in a French plan towards unlocking massive financial aid to rescue the country from the worst economic crisis in decades. Macron, in his speech uh, to the gathering, which was held by video conference, nevertheless welcomed the fact that international donors had provided more than 280 million euros towards the humanitarian aid at the first conference on August 9th, which had helped provide for the country's immediate needs. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli and other ministers witnessed on Thursday the inaugural session of a conference held by Central Agency of Public Mobilization and Statistics Campus to announce the outcome of a survey on 2019-2020 income spending and consumptions. More details in the following report. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli attended the inaugural session of a conference for announcing the 2019-2020 to survey of the income, spending and consumption. The conference held by the Central Agency of Public Mobilization and Statistics, CAPMAS, uh, was attended by Ministers of Planning, Solidarity, Internal Trade and the Head of Public Mobilization and Statistics Agency. During the conference, Madbouli announced that for the first time in 20 years, Egypt is witnessing a decreasing level of poverty. Addressing the conference, the head of CAPMAS, Major General Khairat Barakat, said that poverty levels were treated nationwide to reach 29.7% instead of 32.5% compared to the 2017-2018 research. Minister of Planning and Economic Development, Dr. Hela Saeed, said despite the hard conditions and challenges of the coronavirus, the research gives an important indication that the government is on the right track. Minister of Planning and Economic Development, Dr. Hela Saeed, said that the state efforts to achieve economic reform coincided with its endeavors to improve standards of living of citizens. She said despite the hard conditions and challenges of the coronavirus, the 2019-2020 research shows a lot of positive signs and an important indication that Egyptian state efforts were successful to decrease poverty levels and raise standards of living. She also stressed improving spending and income levels shows that the government is on the right track. 
Egyptian expats start uh, printing their ballot papers for the runoff of the second stage of the country's new House of Representative elections ahead of sending them by mail to embassies. The runoff includes constituencies in 13 governorates in which candidates will be competing for the 101 undecided seats. The story. Egyptian expatriates will be able to print their mail-in ballots on Thursday and Friday for the runoffs of the second phase of the country's House of Representatives elections. Runoffs will be limited to candidates running under the individual system who will compete for the 101 undecided seats. Up to 42 individual seats were secured during the first round, also 142 seats reserved for candidates running under the party list system were decided during the first round. The runoff of the second stage includes constituencies of 13 governorates. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs called on Egyptians living abroad who have previously registered to enter the official website of the National Elections Authority NEA on 3 to 4 December. They will be able to print and fill out the ballot cards, ensure that all documents are attached and proceed to the nearest post office to send ballots to the Egyptian diplomatic mission in their country of residence. Egyptian diplomatic missions around the world are first to receive mail in ballots over a period of three days until December 7th. Expats will complete the casting of their votes in the parliamentary elections through postal voting. The feature has been put in place in light of the exceptional measures taken worldwide to confront the COVID-19 pandemic. On Monday, the Egyptian National Elections Authority announced the results of the runoffs of the parliamentary elections first phase, which was held last month. It said that more than 5 million people cast their vote in the elections held in November with a participation rate of 20.01%. Egypt has reported 421 new coronavirus infections, bringing the total number of cases to 116,724 people since the outbreak hit the country in mid-February. The health ministry also reported 28 new deaths, bringing the total number of fatalities to 6,694. The ministry added that 133 patients were discharged from hospitals, increasing the number of those who have recovered to, 1 to 102, 1,949 people.